Get ready, get ready for this pipe and hot tea. Get ready, get ready for a tea time and filter with your girl loving tea. Spilling all this hot tea on this podcast street. So get ready, get ready for this pipe and hot tea. From tea time and filter with your girl loving tea. Hey, tea sippers. I hope you guys are doing good today. Welcome to another episode of Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely Tea. And I got my girl, Emily, in the house. Emily, how have you been? I'm good. I'm doing good. All right. It's nice to have you back here. So it's been a lot of mess going on in these damn social media streets, honey. Mm -hmm. (laughs) It's been so much mess, but we're going to go ahead and get into it over the next 30 to 40 minutes. So... Now, over the weekend, Erica Banks, for y'all who don't know who she is, people call her Meg Thee Stallion's so-called replacement, like 1501 tried to replace Meg Thee Stallion with Erica Banks. And Erica Banks can, you know, she can rap a bit. Um, She was doing her thing on TikTok when her video went viral. Um, So Erica Banks, the Erica Banks that we knew, you know, she's really short, um, just had a regular shape, you know, regular body. And then she's regular. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Just a regular body. Then Uh she went and got the video vixen female rapper package, right? Which is getting the lipo, the BBL, the big old, you know, breast implants. So, you know, now her shape is, you know, popping. She's walking through the store, ass looking like two hams. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) (laughs) Looking like two roast hams, honey, okay? (laughs) So, so, is definitely feeling herself. And, you know, her new BBL, you know, looks good. It looks good on her. So, you know, we was all, you know, okay, clapping for if that's what you want to do, by all means, you got the money to do it. If that's what makes you feel better, do you? We have no issues with plastic surgery, right? Right. But all of a sudden, it seems like that damn, them two damn hams done went to her head, okay? (laughs) Them pigs finally get out. Right. She's having what I call (laughs) the BBL effect, where people get BBLs and then it goes to their head. Uh So... Over the weekend, she took to her Instagram page to let people know that um, she's not going to go to the club with certain people. If you're not thick, if your body is not, you know, proportionate and looking snatched, if you're too skinny, you can't roll with her. So let's go ahead and watch what she had to say here, Emily. So let's check this out. Ain't a certain type of look. If she don't look how I want her to look physically, I don't want her to go. Because the look of everything is so important to me. Like, if she ain't thick enough, nope. Her not idea good enough, nope. Can't dress, nope. <laughs> uh, skinny, nope. <laughs> and it's like, I don't feel like I'm discriminating. I just want a certain type of look. She could be the sweetest girl I ever met in my life. But if she don't look the part, I don't want her to come. Like, that's just not the vibe I'm on. Now, she can come to the cookout. She can come to the listening party. But the club, I feel like got to look a certain way to come. All right. So, y'all that's just heard what... Stupid. Yeah, so y'all just heard what Erica had to say. She says that she feels like if you're going to roll with her, especially to the club, you got to look a certain way. So, how did you feel about that, Emily? I feel a way about that. Because, one, I tell people all the time, I don't know how to dress. I'm not really a styler like that. I can't dress. I just wear all black. That's all I can do. But, um, one, starting out, Erica Banks, I feel like of all people, should know what it feels like to get roasted for the way they look. Because they clowned that girl on her body. They clowned her teeth. They clowned everything about her when she first came out. Like, she was, and I'm not saying this is my opinion, but this is, you know, on the internet, she was the short, fat little sister. You know what I mean? Right. And. And I'm short too, so I'm not saying that she was, but I'm just saying that was the internet's perception. When you compare her to a Lori Harvey or a Jada Wada or a Kylie Jenner, she did not have that bad bitch Instagram aesthetic. So I feel like the nerve of her to say that, it's very, um, very low vibrational for one. Mm -hmm. Um, And uh, it, it just boggles my mind. Now she got her body done. Now she really thinks that, you know, she can talk shit like that. And I under, now had she said, look, when I go to the club, I want to, I want certain friends 
that like have a certain energy because we all got our friends you know our club friends our mm -hmm. friends we go shopping with I could get that but it wasn't even on like your personality the energy it was just totally based off of how you look and then people go around with that mentality and wonder why they don't have any genuine friendships why they got nothing but chaos in their life because all the friends that they're picking and you know giving all their information to and confiding in it, it's all based off their looks it's very vapid Exactly. And that's what you see a lot of times on social media when you see like what they call the baddies clicking up and going out. A lot of those girls are not genuine friends. No. A lot of them are only together because of superficial shit. We all have our body done. We all got a big ass, little waist, big titties, you know, teeth, new veneers. You know, we got the baddest lace fronts, nails. You know, we all have a certain clubby aesthetic look. So we're just going to pull out the whole bad bitch section. But once the lights come on and the, and the music is over, they all go their separate ways a lot of times. They're not friends. And a lot of times they're in competition with each other as well for the men's attention in the club. And for me, I feel like when I go out, I want to go out with the funnest person. I want right. to hang with the folks who are most turned up, who are going to have fun, because I don't care. Times is hard. So if I'm spending money to go to a club, meaning I'm buying an outfit, buying shoes, getting my hair done and all that stuff, I'm not about to be in the club a wallflower, you know what I'm saying, or just sitting down the whole time. I like to party, dance, and have fun. That's, I mean, you done kicked it with me. That's how I kick it. Yeah. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, even when I had my boat party, shit, we was dancing the whole night. I want people who want to turn up with me, who want to have a good time, because life is too short. So my thing is, if you're so bougie that you can't even go out and let your hair down because you're so worried about how you look or who's watching you, that that's not my type of crew. I do yeah, not like just like out with girls, and the only thing they do is just sit in the club all day on their phone and take Instagram pictures or selfies. Right, they'll twerk for like maybe 10 seconds to a song, post it on Instagram, and that's the whole experience. And I also think this really speaks to her self-esteem, because it's, it's the cheerleader effect. She feels like if she's with a bunch of girls that look a certain way, that's going to make her look prettier. She's going to blend in with them. But if she's with girls that, you know, aren't like these bad bitches and, and whatever, that that's going to bring, you know, her star down. And like I've said before, it don't matter who Beyonce hangs out with based off of the way that they look. Beyonce is going to be Beyonce no matter who she's with, who she's around, what her, you know, background or her entourage looks like. So that really speaks to her self-esteem, the fact that she needs people to look a certain way so she can feel a certain way. Mm. Now, that's really interesting. I hadn't heard of that before, the cheerleader effect. So, But that that is very true where sometimes you'll see girls where they feel like, there, there's, they think one of two ways. Either they want to be the pretty girl in the clique, so they want to hang with more mediocre women that don't really uh -huh. threaten them so they can be, you know, that pretty alpha girl. Or else they'll hang with only like girls who look a certain way. Like, let's say, you know, they're all, you know, really cute so-called baddies. And so this person might be mediocre. But if I hang with a bunch of these, you know, aesthetically pleasing women, then... I will blend in with them. We'll just all, I'll be pretty just like them because yep. they know they can't really hold that same candle on their own. Yep, exactly. That's what it is. A bunch of girls get grouped up together um, and they all look a certain way. So they kind of all, you know, sometimes when you hang out with your best friend for a long time, y'all kind of start looking the same in a way, mm. y'all dress the same, all that. So right. that's kind of the, the cheerleader effect. Or they'll say, okay, it's a bunch of girls grouped together. And from the outside, you know, from a distance, they all look cute. But once you get closer and start looking at them, <laughs> you know, they don't all look as good. <laughs> it's like a group effect. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. And, you know, like, like you said, I can get if there was more things. Like, th to me, her whole conversation was very superficial, especially being that somebody before she got her body done was very just basic. You know what I'm saying? Like nobody ever was like, oh, that's, the, you know, she's the next baddest looking female. She never, I never heard that tie, tied to her name. But right. now that she's got her body done, I do see people praising her more. And so, of course, you know, when you change something or whatever you're self-conscious about, you change it and you start feeling good. You know, granted, your self-esteem is going to go up. Your ego may go up. But you have to check that because, again, if it took for you to get your body done to raise your self-esteem and make you feel a certain way, 
that's not a good thing either. You should be getting your body done because you want it done. And, you know, it's just something you want to fix. It shouldn't be the Band-Aid to give you confidence and make you feel like you're a better person now, you know? Right. And I think uh, I think she does have very low self-esteem. I don't know if she got her body done because she wanted to, you know, she succumbed to the pressure or if she just wanted that look. But also, I will say, people like Erica Banks, you know, when you see, if you were to see her in person, I'm sure she would be real cute, or, you know, pretty shape, all that stuff in person. Everything, once it gets moved to social media, if you are not perfect, if your photos aren't edited, if you don't have everything down to a T with the best angles, people think that there's something wrong with you. When in reality, just like with, for an example, Britney Spears. Britney Spears always posting stuff on Instagram and people think that there's something wrong with her when really she's just natural. She hasn't had a lot of surgery done to her face. Her photos aren't edited, you know, to hell. She's just a regular looking person. If you were to see her in person, it would be like, oh my gosh, what a beautiful woman. I think the same thing could be said about Erica before she had all that work done. But when you put that on social media, it's a completely different ballgame. Yeah, that is very true. You know, social media definitely adds that pressure where people's, you know, pictures have to be perfect and, you know, the aesthetics, the hair and and all that stuff. And it can take a toll on you. You know, when you're always having to keep up with other people and you're always comparing yourself to other people. That's why I always suggest to folks take social media breaks. Now, with that being said, I also want to say this, that I feel like you should move with certain people when it comes to wanting to elevate yourself. Yo, what's up? Hey, tea sippers To listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned In, or AnchorFM.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support, and stay tuned for the next video.